Hello, this is Delgai2, and welcome back to Let's Play Alice Paz Returns. You may have noticed that I am recording in-game sound now. Yes, I am. This is the first time I'm wearing headphones for this game. And it seemed like I stopped right on, uh... Oh, uh, by the way, welcome back to Let's Play Alice Madness Returns for the PC. Uh, part 16. We are 26% of the way done with the game, and I said that just before I went to bed tonight, just get another one out, so... So, I'm just going to uh, say that if this does go well, because I really don't talk during the combat, the com in the combat sections are usually pretty loud, so that kind of helps me a little bit. So, I'm just going to say that the game sound. I think that's our right to people. So, that's that watch my channel. <laughs> I really don't care. I really don't care who watches my channel. As long as they have fun. Can I hit that? Oh! Interesting. Alright. Whoa. Okay, this is all for... This is a nice little secret section. I do not know what that sound is. It might be the ambient music, but... It doesn't sound right at all. Whoever destroys a soul, destroys the world. There is much wisdom in that, Alice. Yeah, there is. So, how do I get back? Down here, I see. Alright. <laughs> I was low on health. Oh, well. I thought I, I thought I got my help, all my health back, but I forgot I stopped right, right after that intense section with the, the raging stuff, so I am so glad I'm past that stuff now. So glad. Alright, so let's continue over here. This looks like a... Wow, this is nice. I like this. That was close. The ambient music is so cool. Alright, so I just have to go the way. Looks like I don't have any mouse control, so... I really got to... Uh,
that's good. Alright. I switched mice, so I'm just, I'm still trying to get used to it. Which I think I already have, so that's good. So, I started recording game sound, because this, this game isn't too loud. So that's good. Press the mic a little closer to me. Play does that, and it's awesome. There's no time to waste! No. There's no time at all! I guess I'll give it a try. Kill or be killed in one of these things.
just about done with this world. There's a lot of blood here. I really need to restock on my health. Like, how much health do I have, though? Probably not a lot. Everything, and let's proceed to this lovely area. Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. You mean like all this blood here? That's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little prance. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident, you want someone to blame. Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected, no one cares. I often must work very hard, sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest, and the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, Princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where has it come from? It arrived when you arrived, and it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream caterpillar may know how. Holy shit. Wow, that is dark. Fire. What? Oh, the blood in my mouth tastes like bile. 
Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead and more's the pity. What did he want? What they all want. Money didn't earn. What were you thinking, button into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead. I killed them. I should have saved them. I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honesty is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped. Eyes like pinwheels, drooled, and occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches, and those poor tykes of food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or the spider's feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing. As you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hookin's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. Don't I know it? A lot of backstory going on right now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop this part for now, and I will see you for part 17. See you guys, Togai 2.